Tonight's Decision 2020 debates are brought to you by Deschutes Roofing and Mid-Oregon Credit Union. Good evening and welcome back to the special edition of News Channel 21. I'm Lee Anderson. Tonight, the candidates for Oregon Secretary of State are here. Republican State Senator Kim Thatcher of District 13 and her Democratic challenger, State Senator Shamia Fagan of District 24. They're up for the spot and they're here tonight. We want to welcome them. Thank you, ladies, for coming in. It's a great honor to have a state race here in our studio, so thank you very much. Uh, before the debate, we flipped a coin to see who would go first. Senator Thatcher, you won the coin toss, so you get to go first tonight. We're going to begin with opening statements, and each of you will get two minutes to tell us why you want to be our Secretary of State, and uh, just a little bit about yourself. Opening statements. Kim Thatcher, will begin with you. All right. And thank you for putting on this debate today. I appreciate it. Four years ago, voters crossed the aisle and selected Dennis Richardson to be Secretary of State because they realized we needed checks and balances in our government. And they wanted somebody who would serve as a nonpartisan in this position. You know, if he was here today, I know that he'd be sailing on to re-election if he'd lived. Unfortunately, he didn't. But there's only one person in this race who will carry on the legacy of Dennis Richardson with accountability, transparency, and integrity in government. In fact, my colleague and I both served in the legislature with Dennis Richardson, and I'm the one that Kathy Richardson, his wife, is endorsing. She's supporting my race because she knows I will carry on his mission of bringing transparency to government. I have a fundamental basic belief that a Secretary of State needs to do her best to bring Oregon forward and get Oregon back on track and not be beholden to government interests or to the governor. I see this office as one where we have to have fair, transparent elections, and I will do that. And I will bring my 28 years of business experience to bear and bolster the corporation division so we can help get our businesses back on track. And I have worked for years in the legislature on public records, and I will keep doing that because we real, those records belong to the people, and we need to make sure that those are done. I will follow the legacy of Dennis Richardson, and I ask for your vote. All right, this. Senator, thank you very much. Two minutes to you, Senator Shamia Fagan, opening statement. Well, good evening. I'm Shamia Fagan, and I first became aware of voting and democracy growing up in small rural towns in Wasco County. My dad was a staunch Republican and a single dad raising us three kids by himself. My mom was away because she battled addiction and homelessness for most of my life. My dad took us on a camping trip the summer before I started second grade. I remember a couple of weeks in the woods, catching crawdads in Dufer Eight Mile Creek, and sleeping in a big family tent. It wasn't until many years later that my brothers told me what had really happened, that we had been evicted from our house in the Dalles, and we were homeless. That's why I've spent my career as a civil rights attorney and an Oregon lawmaker, fighting for other Oregon families who were hanging on by a thread passing policies like paid sick leave and creating the Office of Small Business Assistance. I've also worked to expand access to our democracy by passing automatic voter registration and most recently prepaid postage. But when I first announced my campaign for Secretary of State, I quickly learned that most people have no idea what this job is. One of my older brothers who's a welder asked me, Secretary of State, so you'll get other people's coffee? So I like to start there. This job, for me, is about making sure that government works for everybody, from running elections that are fair and secure, 
auditing state revenues and programs to make sure they're making a real difference in the lives of people who need them most, conducting public records using openness and transparency, running the Office of Small Business Assistance that I helped create my first term in the Oregon House, and likely this year conducting redistricting, but I will do it using a people's commission that is rooted in equity and justice so that Oregon can live that sacred democratic value of equal representation for all. All right, ladies, thank you very much. Opening statements, we're ready for question number one. Senator Thatcher, the question is, the Secretary of State is a member of the State Land Board. Does the State Land Use Board help, or as some feel here, hinder Central Oregon from getting more affordable housing, and what should be done? Hmm. Well, I have actually gone out to some of the different communities that are, have been not only devastated by wildfires, but those who are also trying to grow and get some of their uh, uh, the buildings going again, especially the ones in the communities that have been burned down. Um, zoning has been an issue, and cleanup will be a huge issue as well. So, on the land board, there there are a number of duties, and I know that uh, the land board has some tasks to do, but they're not real clear on what they're supposed to be doing as far as what, is, what does it mean to do the best, have the best use of the uh, land for uh, the state of Oregon using best management, land management and uh, sustainable practices. And I think it would be helpful if we put together a citizen advisory board where we had the different stakeholders come together I would love to have some advice from this, this particular um, board because I need to know how these I issues all intersect and how we can do a better job in making sure that we are making the best use of our Oregon land for uh, the people of Oregon using sustainable practices. Mm -hmm. All right. Same question to you, uh, uh, Shamia. Fagan, the Secretary of State is a member of the Land Board. Does the State Land Use Board help, or as some feel here, hinder Central Oregon from getting more affordable housing and what should be done? Well, I'm so glad that you brought up a question about Affordable Housing League, because that's literally the issue that brought me to the Oregon State Senate. I ran on the platform. As I mentioned in my opening, my family experienced homelessness as a child. My mom battled homelessness for most of my childhood. And affordable housing is what brought me to the legislature in the Oregon Senate. And I actually chair the Senate Housing and Development Committee. And one of the bills that we passed in 2019, the 2019 session, actually was the nation's first and most innovative zoning laws to actually allow the building of more affordable housing. This was a policy that brought together folks that are normally at odds, and we brought them together on a policy to really increase our, our land, our use of land and our zoning here in Oregon. I'm very eager to serve as Secretary of State on the land board. It'll certainly bring that experience with me to the land board. I'm proud to be endorsed by the Oregon League of Conservation Voters and the Sierra Club. And I think it's important to Oregonians that the person who serves on the land board, which of course is made up of three people, the Secretary of State, the Governor, and the State Treasurer, that they share Oregon's conservation values. And I'm proud to be the candidate in this race that is endorsed by the conservation organizations that Oregonians trust. All right, very good. Senator Thatcher, you have 30 seconds to uh, add or rebut. Well, I think some of the land use laws in our state have actually been what's hindering some of the affordable housing because we've created a false scarcity that makes it difficult for uh, people to afford the land because it's scarce and it can only be built in certain areas. So I would really like to see us think about ways to make it less expensive to build our buildings and uh, move forward with legislation and changes to our policies that would help. All right, thank you very much. 30 seconds to you, Senator Fagan. Well, I, again, I'm, I'm very looking, this is about the state land board. Mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to serving on the state land board. In fact, the proposal I'm most excited about is, has to do with the Elliott State Forest, which is, of course, 82,000 acres, our largest old growth forest here in Oregon. And there's a proposal to actually decouple that from the common school fund and essentially sell it back to the state to be used as a research forest for Oregon State University. And I think that's a really exciting proposal. I know that's supposed to go before the land board this fall. Uh, but uh -huh. It doesn't go before that. Okay, thank you right. very much. 30 seconds goes very quickly, <laughs> ladies.